So yesterday, I'm up Mount Seymour. I've got my recording equipment set up overlooking Mount Baker. And I'm calling people, going down my list, to talk to them for the Craig Kelly tribute episode. Listeners who have uh, been listening for more than a season will know every April 1st, which is Craig's birthday, I like to put out an episode celebrating his birthday and everything that he did for the sport of snowboarding. Um, So when nobody answered the phones, I just uh, went snowboarding in the slush, in the sun. Vans had set up the final high standard series tour stop, and so there was like a mini bowl slash cool feature park on Lodge Chair at Mount Seymour, and uh, there were a lot of cool people up there. I got to ride with Artie and Chris Savage, and we just lapped the park in the slush and had a lot of fun. So March is officially over, which marks what's supposed to be the end of the F and Rad's fourth season but we still have some unfinished business so i'm letting you know right here that it isn't an april fool's joke that we've got at least four more episodes to put out before we can call it quits for the summer i can't make promises about when they'll drop but i'll do my best to put them up soon okay thanks when i started the show i was totally obsessed with finding out more about the guy whose pro model i drove 820 kilometers round trip to buy a used demo version of in the summer of 1989 so i just turned 16 i'd had to do summer school to improve my grade 10 math mark and my mom had told me that she'd give me 10 bucks for every percent I improved it. So I got a cool $200 from my mom. And then I added to that the money I'd earned working for Donnie Kent's dad at a grocery store for like three bucks an hour. So I think I had altogether about $500. So the board was a beautiful 160 Craig Kelly mystery air with that tiger tail graphic. It was kind of a textured top sheet. And a white base with that iconic Burton Mystery Air graphic. And the letters D-E-M-O just stamped into the P-Tex. Like kind of burned in there or branded. Later that summer I mailed the receipt to Burton in Vermont. For this free board with the world video. That they were giving away. They advertised in, in Transworld that if you bought a 1990 Craig Kelly. You got the... Uh, board with the world video and at first when they got the receipt they said I couldn't get one because the board was like a demo from the year before but uh, someone there made the call to send me that tape and uh, bend the rules and when it arrived a few weeks later in the mail I was just ecstatic and I watched it over and over again and in the fall I actually bought Joe Satriani surfing with the alien tape so I could play it in my car to get psyched up for snowboarding. So Craig's sister Jillian got back to me last night. She sent me some designs from the new Craig stuff Burton's putting out next year, which includes a t-shirt with a Craig logo on the front and then like the bald face cross turning into some turns in the snow with Craig at the end. There's also a mine Craig Kelly jacket from Burton next year which has a picture of him on the back. I saw someone at Mount Baker at the bank slalom wearing one. Jillian tells me that Craig's daughter, Olivia, had a hand in helping to design that stuff. And the proceeds from the sale of those items go to charity, which is super cool. She also sent me something really cool, which I'm going to share with you guys on Insta and on the Facebook feed. It is an old clip from... They're like family home videos of Craig standing at the top of a hill in conditions that looked a lot like what we were riding yesterday, slush. And he's in like red shorts and a white t-shirt and he's wearing gloves. What are you going to do? Okay. And then he speeds towards the camera and as he goes by you can see his knees are completely tucked together. And he's like super low going up the tranny to this quarter pipe. And uh, 
He tries a 540, misses the, the mute grab, and comes around dragging his nose on the top deck and just, like, biffs it onto his butt and, like, falls onto his back. And he is young. I mean, he's on this old Sims board. Like, it's got to be, like, 86 at the latest. It's pretty dope. Thank you very much to Craig's sister, Jillian, for sending us that. That was awesome. What are you going to do? Okay. I really love doing this podcast, and uh, I've had more positive feedback this year than any other year, and way more positive feedback than I've ever even imagined. I get messages nearly every day from listeners from all over the world, guys like Adrian Borchards, Jeff Clark, Al King, Derek Rock, Martin Rees, Adam O'Connor, Jamie Medill. Javis Len, Ted Zimmers, Mark Duran, Duncan Bates, Josh Dooley, Jeff Choi, Drew Heffitz, Damon Pyatt, Mike Green, Dan Brandon, Craig Dexter, and Lars Horseman. And I'm mentioning here that Chad Brockmeyer sent the show 20 bucks through PayPal to FNRedPodcast at Hotmail.com. Totally out of the blue. Super sick. Thank you, Chad. Thanks to everyone who's participated in any of our fundraising stuff and pitched money towards uh, winning a wired board, which congratulations to Todd Maskovich for winning that. And then he sent us a bunch of money to go for lunch, which was crazy. Thank you, Todd. And uh, extra special thanks to everybody who's come up to me in real life to tell me they like the show. Uh, That's the best. You guys are awesome. And uh, I'm amazed. So... We'll see you soon for another episode of the F and Red Snowboarding Podcast brought to you by SIA Productions.